Picture this. A colossal aircraft vast enough to devour entire planes in one gulp, gliding through the clouds with the whimsical grin of a friendly beluga whale. This isn't a wild dream from a sci-fi blockbuster. It's the Airbus Beluga XL, the quirky behemoth that's revolutionized how massive aircraft components zip across the globe. But buckle up, because the real thrill is uncovering how Airbus engineered this sky-swallowing marvel from concept to takeoff. Let's start from the top. Back in the early 2010s, Airbus was facing a pretty big problem, literally. The company's existing fleet of Beluga ST transport planes just couldn't keep up with its growing production needs. Airbus was building more aircraft than ever before, including massive models like the A350, which had wings so large that even the Beluga ST, the previous super transporter, could only carry one at a time. So, Airbus engineers realized they needed something bigger, faster, and more efficient. And that's when the idea of the Beluga XL was born. Airbus didn't start from scratch. They looked at what already worked, the A330-200F freighter, and decided to turn that aircraft into something extraordinary. Think of it like remodeling a house, but instead of adding a few rooms, they raised the entire roof and stretched it into a whale-shaped giant. The Beluga XL was officially launched in 2014, with development and production costs soaring to around $1 billion. That might sound like a lot, but when you're building a flying warehouse capable of carrying entire aircraft sections, it's money well spent. The Beluga XL's name fits perfectly. Just like the Beluga whale it's named after, this plane has a signature forehead bulge and a friendly, smiling paint job. It's a funny-looking aircraft, but behind that playful face lies some serious engineering muscle. The Beluga XL measures over 200 feet long, stands more than 60 feet tall, and has a wingspan of around 197 feet. Its cargo bay is wider and longer than its predecessor, giving it 30% more capacity. That means it can carry two A350 wings in one trip something the older Beluga ST could never do. To make that possible, Airbus engineers had to rethink nearly every part of the aircraft. They lowered the cockpit below the main cargo area, almost like putting the pilot in a basement, so the massive nose door could swing open fully. That's what allows the Beluga XL to load huge parts straight into its mouth. They reinforced the tail to handle the new weight distribution. And they reworked the aerodynamics to make sure that big bubble on top didn't mess with flight stability. Inside, the Beluga XL's cavernous cargo hold is like an aircraft hangar in the sky. The diameter of the cargo area stretches to nearly 29 feet, long enough to fit an entire fuselage section or a pair of wings side by side. To load and unload this colossal space, Airbus designed a fully openable nose door with 24 massive locking latches. Imagine a garage door the size of a small house, but engineered to stay airtight at 35,000 feet. Building something this ambitious wasn't simple. The Beluga XL was a European collaboration on steroids. Parts of the plane were built in different Airbus facilities across Europe. The wings came from the United Kingdom, the fuselage from Germany, and many systems from Spain and France. These components were shipped to Airbus's main assembly site in Toulouse, France, ironically using the old Beluga STs or even by special ships and trucks. Picture this. The parts of a plane that's designed to carry other planes being transported by an older plane built to carry other planes. That's how meta this project got. Once the components arrived in Toulouse, the real magic happened. Airbus used massive metal frames called jigs, essentially robotic scaffolds, to precisely align and join the plane's sections. These jigs connected the electrical systems, hydraulics, and control mechanisms between the front, middle, and rear fuselage. Then. The wings were attached using another jig that could lift them into perfect position and hook up the fuel and control systems. The tail was next, followed by the engines and landing gear. Piece by piece, this strange oversized bird started to take shape, but here's where things got really interesting. The transformation from an A330 freighter into a Beluga XL. Airbus literally sliced off the top of the fuselage and replaced it with a much larger balloon-like upper shell. It took around 8,000 new components to make that happen. The new bubble was assembled in just three months, which is lightning fast for something this complex. Once the major modifications were complete, the aircraft moved on to the finishing stages, painting and testing. Before painting, the entire surface was cleaned and dried using high-pressure systems. Then came the white primer to protect against corrosion, followed by the now iconic blue and white livery. And of course, that signature beluga smile on the front, 
the design that instantly gives the aircraft personality and makes it one of the most recognizable planes in the sky. Now, before Airbus could put the Beluga XL into service, they had to prove that it could handle the skies safely. That meant an exhaustive testing process, both on the ground and in the air. Ground tests simulated real flight conditions using computer systems to measure stability, vibrations, and the reliability of the avionics and engines. Then came the flight tests. On July 19, 2018, the Beluga XL took its maiden flight from Toulouse. It looks like something out of a Pixar movie, but this giant flew beautifully. Over 200 test flights followed, totaling more than 700 hours of flight time. The European Union Aviation Safety Agency finally certified the Beluga XL in November 2019, and by January 2020, it officially entered service. So what does this massive plane actually do? In short, it keeps Airbus running. The Beluga XL transports huge aircraft components between Airbus factories across Europe. It can land, load, and take off faster than the older Beluga ST, cutting turnaround times nearly in half. That means parts like wings and fuselage sections can be delivered quicker, keeping Airbus's production lines humming smoothly. And this aircraft doesn't just rely on brute strength, it's packed with smart tech too. The Beluga XL features advanced systems like RNPAR, required navigation performance, authorization required, which allows it to fly into airports with challenging environments more accurately. Then there's ROPS, the Runway Overrun Prevention System, which warns pilots if they're at risk of overshooting a runway during landing. And for safety in the skies, the APFD TCS system helps the aircraft automatically avoid other planes if a collision risk appears. It's like a massive high-tech guardian angel guiding this flying whale through busy European airspace. Despite the arrival of the Beluga XL, Airbus isn't grounding the older Beluga ST fleet just yet. In fact, they plan to keep them running for another decade or two. Some will even be used for external customers, other companies that need to move gigantic cargo that won't fit in traditional freight planes. It's hard to imagine anything else in the world that can carry an aircraft wing the size of a city bus. But the Beluga family can do just that. Here's a crazy fact. Before the XL came along, it could take the old Beluga ST three separate flights to move all the components needed for one A350. The Beluga XL can do the same job in just one or two trips. That's a massive efficiency upgrade, both in time and cost. And though it may look quirky from the outside, the Beluga XL flies like a dream. Pilots say that thanks to its A330 routes, it handles surprisingly well for its size. It's powered by two Rolls-Royce Trent 700 engines, each producing more than 70,000 pounds of thrust. That's enough to lift its 227-ton maximum takeoff weight into the clouds with ease. Even with its cartoonish grin, the Beluga XL represents something deeply serious, human ingenuity at its best. It's not just a plane, it's a symbol of how far engineering can go when creativity meets necessity. Airbus didn't build it for show. They built it to solve a real logistical problem, and in doing so, they created one of the most iconic aircraft of the modern age. Next time you see a picture of that smiling white whale flying over Europe, remember, Beneath that friendly face is a billion-dollar piece of precision engineering, making sure your next commercial flight exists. Every Airbus jet you see taking off from an American runway, whether it's an A320, A330, or A350, owes a little bit of its existence to this strange, lovable giant that quietly makes the impossible happen behind the scenes. The Beluga XL isn't just the world's largest and weirdest cargo plane. It's a masterpiece of innovation that keeps the entire global aviation industry connected. It proves that even in a world obsessed with sleek designs, sometimes the oddest looking creations turn out to be the most brilliant. If you loved exploring the incredible story behind this flying whale, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell. You'll get more mind-blowing stories about aviation marvels, engineering wonders, and the futuristic tech shaping our skies. Stay curious because the next breakthrough might just be flying above us right now.